Hey, this is Christoph with Carbon A-List, and today we're going to learn about carbon-negative hydrogen production. Hi, I'm Greg Rao. I'm with the Institute of Marine Sciences at UC Santa Cruz. One of the things I'm working on is carbon-negative hydrogen. That is, we've developed a way of electrogeochemically generating hydrogen while also consuming atmospheric CO2. Now this works when we add common base minerals such as silicates or carbonates to an otherwise conventional saline water electrolysis cell where we can generate hydrogen but also force the cell to generate excess hydroxide. Hydroxide is very reactive with atmospheric CO2 and this draws in CO2 from the air to form dissolved mineral bicarbonates. Now when this system is powered by renewable energy, the weight ratio of carbon or CO2 consumed to hydrogen produced uh, can be as high as 40 to 1, making the hydrogen produced strongly carbon emissions negative. Now some of the advantages of this process are, one, we're avoiding uh, expensively making and storing concentrated CO2 and or we're avoiding using large areas of land to grow plants to do the initial carbon capture. The second advantage here is that we're making mineral, dissolved mineral bicarbonates, which are already very abundant in the ocean. The ocean can uh, store much more than is already present. Additionally, these compounds help to counter ocean acidification. And the last feature that's important is that the energy and materials needed to do this process are globally very abundant. Therefore, the capacity of this process to generate hydrogen and consume CO2 is quite significant. 